Hey guys, um, so this is going to be my um, next lesson in my uh, stock uh, trading uh, video series. Um, so in the last video, I uh, basically just covered what is possible from the stock market. Um, just to summarize, with a savings account, you know, you can expect returns such as like 0.8%. 4.5% on the highest end from what I've seen. Um, you know, decent decent returns, but it's not going to make you like rich or wealthy or anything like that. Um, but the stock market, you know, again, we can, um, you know, best case scenario, expect maybe 40% returns. Um, you know, that that's on the high end, um, but it also comes with the risk of potentially 100% loss so um, so yeah that was my last video and now I am just assuming you have no means of basically uh, trading stocks so I just wanted to talk about that if you um, don't have any means of trading stocks I'm gonna presume you're in the United States because if you're outside of the United States I can't really help you because I don't know too much about regulations for trading and stock accounts, all that um, outside of the United States. So I'm definitely going to presume you're in the United States. And I also am going to presume that you are at least 18 years old, because if you're not 18, I don't think a lot of these places will allow you to open an account unless um, maybe your guardian or parent is opening it for you. Um, but yeah, so if you don't have a stock account and, and you have no means of purchasing stocks, it's actually pretty simple. Um, again, you have to be a U.S. citizen, um, at least I'm presuming uh, from my point of view. Um, you have to be like an adult. You have to be 18. Um, you're also going to need a checking account in most instances because most stock accounts kind of link to your checking account. So I just want to go over a couple options. This is the one I started off with way back in the day. E-Trade. Um, this was like probably one of the first um, trading websites that allowed you to do it online. Don't quote me on that, but it's the one I started with way back in like 06, 07. Um, and um, yeah, it's a good option. Um, if you go online, trading sites you're gonna find Robinhood is a big one TD Ameritrade is a big one so these are two other ones so also in addition to these major sites um, if you have an iPhone or an Android there's a lot of apps. So E-Trade has an app. Robinhood has an app. By the way, when you purchase stocks with it, Robinhood, um, it's free. The trade is free, and Robinhood kind of started that trend. So E-Trade used to charge like $10 plus or minus, maybe $7.99. But uh, with pressure from Robinhood, E-Trade uh, basically went free as well, with free trading. Um, also on the phone, you can um, get Cash App. Um, so it's not as much of what I consider a real stock, stock trading um, platform, but it does have stock trading on it, and it's a great way to start. And I'll tell you why it's a great way to start. Cash App kind of operates by buying certain stocks themselves, and I think you're, this might have changed. Don't, don't quote me on it, but... With Cash App, you can only buy stocks that they've previously purchased. Um, so you're kind of acting as a secondary buyer from them. Um, I don't think you can buy like any stock. Like if they haven't bought the stock personally, I don't think you can buy it. But but look into that. But I want to tell you why Cash App is great. Tesla, right? Two hundred seventy nine eighty two a share. The great thing about 
Cash App is now with E-Trade or Robinhood. If you wanted to buy one share of Tesla, you need $279.82. Plus or minus, you know, if it's up or down for the day. It's currently up $18. If you bought it a day ago, you could have got it for a little less. It's up 6.9% right now. But through Cash App, you can actually just say to Cash App, I want to buy $20 worth of Tesla. And you basically get that. So you're just basically mooching off of Cash App's position. So the good, good thing is you can start buying Tesla at $20 a week and, and you're going to get that right into your account. They're not going to sell you a whole share. Cash App owns the whole share already, um, but they're just like basically allowing you to invest in that. So you can just buy and sell like portions of shares. Um, so that's the great thing about Cash App. And um, I think I think a lot of other companies are jumping on board, but I know for sure Cash App does that. So um, so that that's pretty much it for this um, lesson or talk, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, first and foremost, to to really get the most out of any of the videos I'm going to be making within the series, um, you really have to have the ability to buy a stock. So um, I definitely encourage you to go ahead and do that, like now. Um, again, make sure you're a United States citizen. If you're not, it's not the end of the world. You just got to figure out, you know, the, the, um, you know, basically the ifs, ands, and buts, and all that. Like, you know, if you're from somewhere else, just figure out the rules and, and roll with it. But, um, you know, you definitely got to be 18 because if you're not, your parents probably have to open the account for you, which probably won't <laughs> but um, yeah so so basically you're 18 make sure you have a checking account just make sure you're a human being with a job and um, just figure out how you're gonna start buying stocks tomorrow <laughs> it might not happen tomorrow but you know at least you know get this done now um, go sign up for an e-trade account or sign up for Robinhood. Again, E-Trade has an app on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store for Android. And Robinhood, which is a very popular platform, also has an app you know, on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store for Android. Um, and those are the two that I recommend, E-Trade or Robinhood. Um, First and foremost, I, I think E-Trade gives you great tools. So if you're a highly technical person and you're like into uh, stuff, you know, E-Trade is good. But Robinhood is a little more customer friendly, I think, um, or beginner friendly, I sh should say. Um, maybe they're going to limit you in what you're able to do a little more. That They're not as much of a real broker, you know, in my opinion. But, um, you know, it is a great platform. It is user friendly. Um, and... Other than that, you know, worst case scenario, get Cash App. Get Cash App, link your bank account, and you're able to buy stocks on Cash App. So that's like the order in my mind, you know, of like the complexity. So like E-Trade is probably preferable, followed by Robinhood, followed by Cash App. Gets a little more customer friendly, you know, or beginner friendly, uh, you know, as you go move along those tiers. But, um, Again, Cash App is so user friendly. If you just want to put 20 bucks a week into Tesla, you don't have to buy an entire share. You don't need $279. You can just do 20. And it, you can, I believe, set it to auto buy every week. So then you don't even have to think about it. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the great thing about. Um, cash app and I'm not saying to buy Tesla we're going to talk about what stocks to buy at a later time again I want to talk about things that I wish people had told me um, 10 to 15 years ago um, regarding the stock market and gambling and what's a good stock and what's a bad stock we're going to talk all about this so if you want to learn 
about this and kind of be on this journey as well. Um, again, just subscribe and keep an eye on this playlist. Um, but that's going to be the end of this discussion. Again, just to summarize, this discussion was all about giving yourself the means to purchase a stock like tomorrow. And um, just look out for the next video.